fucking lights are those? Son of a bitch. Fucking light. Hold on. Savage. Savage. See you right here. Oh, yeah. Fucking real good. Real good, real good, real good. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, fuck. Remember. Ah. Live chat. Perfect. Hey, the chat even stayed up. Nice. Steve Maxson. Lane, what's going on? Alex said he got off early today. Kick ass. Lee Harris is here. Dalton's in. How the fuck are we doing tonight? Getting you. Moe's in. What's happening, man? Fucking mosquitoes are atrocious. I was gonna do shit out. I was gonna do this outside today. Go have a fire or something. K Heidi's in. Dave's in the house. Yeah, the fucking there's no wind tonight. The mosquitoes are fucking terrible. I'm gonna take them some. Here, uh, get the fucking glare off the other lights otherwise. Son of a bitch can't win around here. Vengeance in. Hot damn. We'll get a bunch of people in here. I'll explain the challenge. This week's challenge. Katie Bork, you were early. Yeah, well, I had to... It, things went better than I fucking expected. Son of a bitch, the mosquitoes are bad. Are you guys outside over there or are you in the house? Because the mosquitoes are fucking terrible here. Fuck, they're bad in the garage. The chicks are over there climbing over each other because they want fucking trying to eat mosquitoes. Ah, son of a bitch. I shut off their light, too. They're going to be pissed. What did I do with the light bulb thing? I got to turn that row of lights back on. Fuck! Oh, I... I ain't doing good, but still here. Why ain't you doing good? Don's dead. Don, which one? I ain't talking about. Don's in the house. Oh, shit. I uh, was getting up. I said I can't. I can't read and move around at the same time. Fuck's sake! I need the light. The light bulb thing. Where's the fucking light bulb thing? So it. I'll do it this way. If I unscrew that one, it'll be fine. The chicks want their fucking heat lamp on her. Pissed off. Just cool them off tonight. So. Y'all just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I might be coordinated enough to actually stand on the ladder. I probably won't be for too long, but there we go. How's that? That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do. Kevin Craig's in. Made it in a bit earlier tonight. Perfect. Check it out. I remembered this time. Joe's in. Eli's here. Let the fire blaze. We'll get her blazing. Uh. Uh. That was something I ain't sure, but it ain't COVID. Yeah. That time of the year, so I had fuck we were, fuck, I got my ass kicked for two weeks with allergies. Son of a bitch. Of course, your allergy season was months ago down there. Drink it off. Just drink it off. That's my uh, theory. I also got to uh, check them out. Topher Craig on YouTube. So if y'all ain't subscribed to Topher, you can fuck right off. Bob Bates is in. Oh, fuck. Bob's here. Bob! What's going on, brother? Holy shit. Very early tonight, you know. Dalton says I'm trying to. You're kind of early, you know. I'm just saying. Hm. 
And we're still finishing my pot. Bob, how's the weather down your way? Did it finally cool off? It is fucking beautiful here today. 69 degrees. Just barely any fucking wind, and now it died completely, but whatever. Perfect fucking day to be outside. So I didn't do shit in the shop. We worked on the fucking the old road grader, and how's the beer situation? I got lots. Should I go get the case so you just start there and fucking let her rip tater chip or what? Looks good. Seen that shirt and immediately thought of you. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. And my booster. Ah. Bob's here. Now it's time for Rick to get fucked up. Yeah, I probably don't get fucked up. I was going to have fucking throw down a challenge for you all night, but I was, you still owe me a member's milestone from last week. Last week? Are you going to drink? I'll get the fucking beer. Hang on. What the fuck is that, Ricky? Hard Mountain Dew? No, I don't like Hard Mountain Dew. That's just regular Mountain Dew. Because Hard Mountain Dew does not taste like Mountain Dew. I don't give a fuck what day of the week it is. Hold on. Uh, how fast do you want to get there, Bob? I brought the whole fucking thing. Let's get me jumping. Wait, I'll be back extra. Exactly one hour watching a show. And exactly one hour. Well, oh, for fuck's sake. All right. I'm telling you. Love the shirt. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I got it. Shane, what's going on? Bob is watching Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. He'll fall asleep in an hour. Fuck's sake. He's watching Chicago something. Fire PD or something fucking Chicago on Wednesdays. Good news, everyone. I'm off the bush light and move to the Miller light. Oh, God. It's 9.05. Ends at... 9.05 ends at 9, but we'll have to pee, so. That's what commercial breaks are for. Shit. Is that a warning or a... What the fuck is that? Fucking mosquitoes. Fun night here. Our cat is in the middle of having kittens. Throw that son of a bitch outside. Love my Chicago's. I got you. That's fine. You just watch your Chicago's. You come on back when it's over. Whatever you want to do. Or just fall asleep while you're watching it. That'd be fine, too. We could, we could take a... Dave's saying hi to everybody. Motherfucking mosquitoes. Look at that. Get them some bitches, too. I ain't like I'm missing the motherfuckers. God damn. Oh, I did, uh... How is it? I don't know. Fucking window over there, some bitch. Hell, she's in the bathtub. Well, there you go, Little Tiffany or the cat. Well, I thought she was. I thought she was leaving. Shit. Who wants a cat? No, I don't want a cat. I feed it to the dog though, cause she eat that motherfucker too. Who fucking mosquito stuck on my beer can? I thought. I thought she was watching your damn show. I'm pouring this one. You want to double down or no? I got room for another one in that cup if you want to double down. Then you go two for one. <laughs> Man, even the mosquitoes are alcoholics. Yeah, we do. We raise them right around here. We don't fuck around. Everybody's a drinker. I'm gonna put these some bitches back in the fridge. They're gonna get warm fast in here. Fuck's sake. Bob, you quit paying attention or what? Uh. <laughs> 31 in and 16 thumbs up. We ain't gonna get to know uh, fucking trivia questions at that rate. Shit.
Well, I must not want to double down. Iron Man, what's the 30-30 challenge? I'll explain it in a minute. Tim D, they've been feeding on, on Rick. Yeah, damn right they have. They got to get your fix. I'm here all day. They get their fix from me. Ah. Okay. Here, bud. Who wants it the ready whip? Are you swept in a whip it? No, we went to Rasco today on the way up north. I visited Banning and Jayco State Parks. Well, shit, you should have messaged me, man. You drove right fucking by my house. Finally get some nice weather. We get the fucking mosquitoes. Some of those bastards inside of small birds. Damn right. Brennan, you us is in. Okay, 30-30 challenge. Bob's going to fucking destroy this thing, too. Here's the deal. 9 o'clock? No, 8.30. At 8.30, from 8.30 to 9, you got a half hour to buy as many beers as you th can think I can drink in the other 30 minutes. So you get 30 minutes to buy, I got 30 minutes to drink, and if I can't drink all the beers you buy in 30 minutes, I have to whip cream and flower face. And I'll tell you right now, with this beard, I don't want to whip cream the motherfucker. That'll be sticky as fuck for days. Plus, I'm kind of getting the light. It seems like everybody's losing, shedding the beard. I'm going to have to stay strong. Uh. Seen Quick Dick got rid of his. Do you want a four foot long industrial bug zapper? I can bring it with you more fast. It works very well, but it gets annoying listening to it zapping the shit out constantly. Less things in my garage. Hell yeah! I was just looking at the motherfuckers on uh, on uh, Amazon earlier because I was like, I need to fuck these things up. I sleep with earplugs in anyway, so it don't matter to me. Plus, I got a fan blowing in my face. Maybe there'll be time to cut the beard. The beard? No. I'm not cutting a beard. Shit. How's Brian doing today? I got to stand strong for all those that fucking giving up on me. I'm in for a beer. I thought we was waiting. Shit. Did you not read the rules? We got to drink that one first. Or what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing tonight? Are you waiting until the challenge starts at 8.30? From 8.30 to 9, it's a challenge. Or you just want that one fucking right now? It's up to you. I don't care. I'm going to be fucking erect. At least it's okay. I'll bring it. I appreciate you. May as well make the light bill a little bit fucking higher. Hell with it. Good milking cows right now. Then back out to the field. Kick ass. They're getting expensive out here with all this inflation and carbon tax bullshit. Yeah, everything's getting fucking expensive. To shed mine to get into the oil field east site. Kept a mustache. I look like a pedophile. Wow. Time differential messes with me. That's all right. I'll save it for you then. All right. Time will kick that one off. Say it. At 8 30, we'll start it. We're started. And we already got one in, the, one in the barrel, but you gotta wait. So beer still 50 or what is the price of the beer tonight? $50 beers. Right? I'm not changing the price on them. They'll be 50. Wait until 8.30, though, so that way we can put them on the, on the fucking mosquitoes. I hate farmers milking cows here also. Hot damn. Y'all be working hard some bitches. I ain't, I ain't that hard work. Mm -mm. Bob comes back and I'm going to be fucked, though. I'm hoping you fall asleep. It's okay, every man. Just sell your guns back to Trudeau and I'll solve everything he has. Fuck that noise. Bitches. Denny MK's in. Good to see you, Bort. Glad you're doing well. I'm fuck, I don't know any other way. 
If I'm not, then just drag me out back, dig me a hole. How's the weather down in Georgia? Zachary Heidi's in. What's happening tonight, man? Cheers, beers to Jack Daniels, y'all. Yeah? No Jack Daniels for this guy. But I'll drink copious amounts of beer. Fuck it. Because fuck it. I will do that. The chicks are quiet over there, all of a sudden. Fucking humid in 90 degrees. I can't do that. It was humid in like 82. On Monday? Sunday. Sunday. Ah, whatever it was. Fuck, I was... I turned the AC on in here and fucking... Hitting here all day. Where are the two knuckleheads at? They're outside. They don't need to be in the shop. Fucking nice out. Humid at 97. Fuck that noise. I would melt. Shit. When did all those trees go down north of Hinkley? Uh, Not last night, night before. Yeah. Monday night. Is it Monday night? Yeah, it's Monday night. That was it was bad. There was uh west of Hinkley got really fucked up. And east of Hinkley, I said. The whole swat there, but some storm we're supposed to get. Fuck. Logan's in. Logan, what's happening, man? Only made it 76 here today. It was 69 degrees. Almost no fucking wind. Partly cloudy. Just fucking as good of a day as you could get. Just fucking minty. So I worked outside on fucking everything today. Cut the grass, graded the driveway, worked on the grader. Tilled the garden. The new garden spot. Expansion. We got garden, garden expansion going on, so... Florida got hit hard. Florida got hit hard south of Alexandria. It was, see, north of us, if you went up by, well, if you went up 23, you went up, got north of Bruno. Between Bruno and, like, Duquette, there was some fucked up shit around there, too. Anyone have any... Experience with cat 3126. Nathan will know everything about it. I had all my windows open today. Fucking fucking right, man. Nice all day here with no rain forecast till the weekend. Hit quitting time and went to 63% chance of rain through the weekend for fuck's sake. Jesus. Joe Trudeau ain't getting my guns. That's right. Nothing much. Cut some grass, moved some hay. And went on a riverboat for a school trip. Perfect. South Carolina, Dalton says. Was changing equalizers on my trailer today. And not done. Ah, oh, shit. And it's raining, he says. Fuck. Rex says that storm Monday night didn't do shit. He rained a little. I think it fucking went off on the side of the fucking... The head of the lake split it, I think. It's a Huey engine, so reliability is going to depend on maintenance history. Well, that's pretty much most things, but yeah. You got you to... Gotta... Dayton says, how are you, Dalton? Planning on starting to cut hay soon. Probably three, three, four weeks. Well, three weeks, probably. I could cut here at the farm. I could do an early cutting. Nathan, I know where Trudeau can put the guns and pull the trigger. Yeah, no shit. So you need some maintenance. Maintenance records would be awesome. Of course, they are with anything, but. Ah, sinuses are draining. (laughs) 
That one. Faraway Farms, Will's in. Will, what's happening, man? Ugh. I can't get rid of it. I mean, it's been maintained in their pretty solid engine. They built lots of them. There you go. So at least parts should be easy to get. Well, it was a pretty cool video doing the, the walkthrough in the swamp. I had her playing in the shop while I was dinking around out here. I remember what I was doing. It's wet. Fucking rain it is. Where the fuck is Luke Strasser? Ah, he was flying today, so I don't know if he's back home yet or not. Might be acquiring a farm all 656 gasser soon. Perfect. Ah! I want to put one in my R190 LOL so they can't be that bad since I work for cat. They wouldn't be putting a bad cat engine in it. There you go. Shane, you need a 656. Especially with the gas prices. That'd be good. My The 756 is staying the fuck in the pole burn. I can tell you that. Other than to get out of the way for the combine. And that motherfucker's gonna have to probably gonna have to stay in the pole barn too. Shit. I'll combine enough seed for next year and that's it. Fuck it. Make a couple of YouTube videos, combine some seed and put that shit away. First cut of hay was awesome this year, but lack of rain is going to screw me on second cutting. No fertilizer this year, can't afford that shit. Did spread a couple of loads of chicken litter. Fucking fertilizer's out of control. You can't even, nobody can afford that shit. We got out click track BG going today since we pulled it out of the brush a year ago. Perfect. I know where a slightly wore out 756 is at. Perfect. You need it. The Farmall 560 diesel finally played out. Perfect. It's earlier to buy illegal. Easier to buy illegal guns than illegal guns in Canada, I suppose. He always complains when you start without him, but he's never here on time. I know it. Well, I'm a complainer. That's what he does. Maybe he's chasing bad decisions or something. I've got the injection pump for a 560 in pieces on my bench right now. Waiting for seals and a replacement drive shaft. Perfect. Sitting in Ascove. Where is it sitting in Ascove? Generic Roundup is 775 bucks for two and a half gallons of tractor supply. Holy hell. Oh, I bet. Just like here, Steve Mac. That's why all the wrong people have guns. That's right. The illegal ones aren't traceable. I got one and a half inches of rain on saturated ground. I know they got four inches in Virginia. There's a guy at work that, from west of Hibbing that claimed he got eight inches. That's ridiculous. Holy shit. Jackie's in the house. Jackie, what's happening, man? On the Bork Farms. Hey, it ain't that fucking war out. She still runs good. And I don't live in Asco. I live in Bruno, jackass. Close enough. Getting your race car ready. Did you place the race? Figure out where you're going. Just law abiding folk getting screwed. Fuck's sake. Criminal laws are going to get guns no matter what. Unicorn laws, they think up. That's right. Four-hour haul each way this weekend. Holy fuck. Getting her done. Just 
Popping in about the record show, Rick called the and 750 sips cab door officially been mowed and weedy whipped around on my field for one time this summer. First of many, me thinks. That's fine. At least you trim the grass out of there so I can put the fucking bearing in the cultimulture. Matthew Shelley's in. Consider myself lucky compared to what they got west of here. They're trying the same fucking shit down here. Friendship Speedway, our first time going there. They'll kick ass and take names. Checkers or wreckers. Uh. Robin's racing. Fuck them. Just turn hard right and drive off somebody's left front wheel. Fuck it. Fuck it. See, I would be, uh, I would, uh, I'd be a bad race car driver because I just fucking use everybody else's bumpers. What about the four bottom plow? I think that's still on the field, though. I don't think he fucking mowed down there. Hey, go mow around in that fucking plow so I can go get it. I got the disc, though. Well, I'd say that storm caused some serious devastation. I see the Lake County Power is still working on power out west. I thought you did race, Rick. No, I, I just had the fucking car. I didn't race it. No, he parked that out in the hay field where he has to deal with it. Well, I should probably deal with it. Maybe I'll come up there and jerk that one wheel off and then take the fucking call to home and put a bearing in it. I might be able to get away with running that fucker on one tire. It's only, it's, it can only get so sketchy, right? Plus, the one that I take off is going to be the spare anyway, so fuck it. Two guys at work I know don't have power yet. I don't think the folks across the tracks, they're uh, East Central Energy. They don't have power yet. All I heard was Rick's going to jerk off on my field. Well, you stay the fuck home. Rick, you should do Derby. Ah, that shit's expensive. I wreck enough shit without actually trying to that I don't need demolition derby. But fucking mosquitoes. Squatch other mosquitoes at your place. I bet they gotta be fucking unbearable now. Is the King Royal at Eldorado this week? What? Eldora this week? I have no idea. Shit driven a race car is a blast. But my antique cat hobby is too expensive and I like it better, so my racing days are long over. Perfect. Everything that co that's fun costs a lot. Mosquitoes really bad, he says. Yeah, because there's no fucking wind at all. And even then, you guys are down in a hole. I can only fucking imagine. That little fucking swamp next to you guys compared to this big swamp is fucking atrocious. Skeeters are fucking unbearable in my yard. I know that. Yeah, it's bad. Ed Gosling's in. I'm about to pass out. Been a long fucking day. Perfect. Don't so want to know how 5J1113 is. Well, you gotta watch the video. You'd find out. Well, I hope the weather is good for all of you. The frost every night is kicking the shit out of my alfalfa. You got frost every night? That sounds like our kind of weather. Of course, we ain't, the fro we ain't got no fucking frost looking weather, but we don't have apples on the trees yet either. We, got, we just kicked blossoms, so. When I was moving today, the neighbor stopped out and bullshit twice, but was chased back into his truck, so mosquitoes are good for something. Perfect. Mosquitoes were terrible in the water high at... Was that, well, water is high at Banning. Kettle River's high. Michael, what's happening today, man? Sitting in the garage with a mosquito coil burning next to me. I shut. That's why I shut the fucking door. There ain't no breeze anyway, so the hell with it. After I cut 90% of the grass in my ear, this skier's died down some. I'm in demolition derby every day. I have to go into Toronto to work for the day. Perfect. Plan bumper cars. Outdoor adventures. 
says Froster here last night and tonight. Fuck's sake. Michael's bush hogging. Perfect. How big of a bush hog are you running on that Kubota? Michael. Matt's in the house. Matt, what's going on, man? I'd rather run the gas than the diesel right now. Really? Fucking diesel is far more efficient for me. But of course, I've been running the hell out of that Super C. Didn't miss driving fire truck in Toronto. Yeah, I bet. Randy Olson's in. Says, hey, Rick. Dry as hell around Pine Island. No bugs. Jeep ran sweet. Went through all the mud holes. Up by you. Had water running in the holes in the floor. Perfect. Rick, did you see my comment about the manual? I did not. I haven't had a chance to check my comments for a hot minute. Five foot on a 3030 Kubota uses one gallon per hour, which is above my 6040 runs. Hey, disking done yet or still too wet in the field? Still too wet on that south end. Uh, you'd be making a fuck of a mess down there. Especially with that, rain we, that shot of rain we got. Spent my day in the riverboat on the St. Croix River with my fellow 8th graders drinking Pepsi and rethinking my life choices. Perfect. Gave those weeds their special vitamins today. It's life at high elevation. I'm high every day whether I want to be or not. Perfect. That'll work. 8.30, the challenge is on. 30-minute challenge. And beer one is on the table, so. I got 30 minutes. If I can't drink the, the beers you guys buy after 30 minutes, I got you get 30 minutes to buy them, I got 30 minutes to drink them. And we will tally up. They don't have to be straight 50s, so. Cody's in. I got to go Bush Hog Saturday to take the Atlas. Challenger's 210 and 14 foot three point brush hog. 14 foot. <laughs> Sounds right for an eighth grader. In eighth grade, you have a long time to think about a lot of choices. It doesn't get better. Erickson, good evening, Rick. Love the shirt. Appreciate you. How fucked up were you on Sunday, Toby? Diesel is more efficient. Gas has a governor that kicks in and can use fuel. Although I can't complain about that. That Super C did really well on fuel on when I was pulling two bottoms. So where are we at? We're four away on a four away on a trivia. We got 44 and 35. 35, 35, 35, 35. Not bad at all. Perfect. Okay, maybe I thought it was an industrial model. Bob's probably going to be back at 9 o'clock anyway, so if the 30-30 doesn't work, chances are Bob's going to wreck my ass. I was looking at putting the fucking duels on that Kubota. I got looking to find some bands for those 28-inch wheels. Between Rick Super C and Cody's SC, a lot of ground got turned with not a lot of fuel burn. I think it's going to be my fucking plow tractor. I got a little piece out east of Bruno that I might do. I told the fella it's about five acres. I might do that fucker. Plus Connor on the angry bumblebee. Alex is jumping in. Holy shit. Straight in, we're making a pile. We're two in. Two in for two minutes. Two for two. Two for two. Where are we at on trivia? Two away. Three away. Two away. Two away. I only burned a tank in the case. That's all I burned in this. I about burned about five gallons in the Super C. Twenty-eight bucks. Halfway. Approximately. If anyone that doesn't know, Alex, 
Alex and I are 6.5 brothers. Yeah. yeah. Chevy brothers. Half tank. Kyle Christ is in. Kyle, what's going on, buddy? That stupid app won't let me send around numbers when I'm on my phone. Fucking bullshit. That's all right. I was just at 28. Somebody's got 12. Fuck it. We'll, we'll call it good. That'll work. We, we call it. We call it good. Some bitch. Fucking mosquitoes. I put bug spray on earlier, but it's starting to wear off. Aren't 6.5 Chevy diesels really shitty? <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go now. Josh Walner's in. Josh, what's happening, man? Dalton's got a dollar forty nine. So what we need? About ten bucks. We'll call it ten dollars to get that other beer on a pile. Well on there. We got a. Uh, we are. I got the six five running. Perfect. No, they're good if you take care of them. You guys get any more storm damage from that last round? We lost a few trees, but nothing major. Yeah, we we it must have fucking split because it went. It, you guys got it. South of us got it, but we didn't get much here. It didn't even take the blossoms off the maple off the apple trees, which was fucking amazing. So. Tommy's got that 10 bucks. Three beers in the stack. 26 minutes to go. I can tell you right now, I can drink three beers in 30 pretty fucking easy. No, I ain't going to be making it too hard for me. Well, I have to worry about no flower face. Seen you went through Hinkley today and said shit tore up everywhere down there. Yeah, they ran, Katie said they ran the school off generator yesterday. Uh, I don't know if they did today or not. Matthew's got the member's badge. Perfect. We'll, we'll keep building the tower right here. There you go. Oh, yeah, there. Now you can see what we're building. So he's 10 bucks into another one. We got another one. I got 296,000 miles. On the clock on my 6.5. Lost 10 off the shed in the house. Lost some more trees and got a ton of water. Damn! Was that the first storm or this last round? Like yesterday. Day before. Monday. You gonna last more 10? There you go. Holy shit. Does the tower even get war ever get warm? No. Well, hope not. Now we're, we're, what, 20 away. We got three members badges on that one. We're 20 bucks away. Now we're 10 bucks away. Hell yeah, let's do it. Pile it up. Pile it up. The badges are coming out. Lost more. Fuck! Well, that sucks, man. There's that one. That one's in there. Perfect. Four beers. We need another thumbs up for a... We need another thumbs up for a trivia question. Trivia question is going to be, be another $10 play. Or we can just go $10 plays on it. We don't even do the trivia question. It's worth 10 bucks toward the beer. So shit. There you go. We're 40 on another one. For every 10, 10 thumbs up over 40, we're going to get put 10 bucks on a beer. Huh? That's pretty fucking easy, huh? I was always told that the 6.5 diesel makes shit power and aren't very reliable. You guys are kind of stepping up to the plate here. I'm going to get fucked up. Do you believe everything you see on TV? Wow. 6.5 is a good motor, just like the 7.3 meat and ski. I played mine last week, but it was never drank. Go back and rewatch it. I'm pretty sure that one was drank. You got that one just fine, for fuck's sake. 50 people in here and 44 thumbs up. Fucking slackers, let's go. There we go, 30 on that one. 30 bucks to go. 
Maintenance is key on every mechanical thing ever built. That's right. I have owned the truck longer than you've been alive. Fuck sake. 47, 48. Holy shit, we got... We're at... We're at 30 to go. We need another another two thumbs up and we'll be down 20 to go. Alex F is in. One more like on my other channel. Appreciate you, Andrew. Kick ass. 46 people and 48 thumbs up. Bunch jumped off. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We're fucking piling them up now, boys. It's gonna be five beers in 30 minutes, and then Bob shows up. I'm gonna get fucked. We got 20 minutes to go. All right, if I can't drink these son bitches, I'm gonna have to take that in the fucking. Oh, I don't wanna do this shit. Shit! This is a bad idea, wasn't it? One more thumbs up. This thing will be down to 20 bucks. One more thumbs up. You want more? I can't. We lost a whole bunch. A bunch of people just fucking bailed out. Fuck it. Quit. Fuck. <laughs> Tuffers in. Good evening, everybody. How are you now, Rick? Good in you. Good in you. Thirty-eight and forty-nine. You want more thumbs up? Anybody got a thumb? Any? Oh, I got that motherfucker. You better start drinking it if you're going to get them done by nine. No, the thing is, I got you guys got 30 minutes to buy. All right, we put that one on there. We got, you got 30 minutes to buy, and then I got 30 minutes to drink. So that's what, see, that way we know what the accumulation is. See what I'm saying? That's why it's 30 30. You get 30, I get 30, right? So basically, you guys, there's that guessing factor of how many, how many is, are you, am I going to be able to drink in 30 minutes? So at 9 o'clock, we cut her off. If I can't drink the bastards by 9.30, then I got to throw that shit in my face. And I don't really fucking comb my beard out nice tonight. I don't really want to fuck it up with whipped cream and flour. That's true. When I was the pit service was done every 250 hours with or without fail, we are getting to 29K plus out of those engines, Durham. It's past 930. Start drinking Chad Beauchamp's in. It's not past 930 here, bud. It's 940, Josh Wallner says. Well, you're on the wrong fucking, you're on the wrong time zone. You got to get in the right time zone. You'll be fine. Shit. We got 19 minutes. We're 19 minutes and nine thumbs up away from a $10 play. Uh -oh. We got to drink a six pack in 30 minutes right now. That's five minute beers. I ain't too bad. I can do five minute beers. Evan said at 8.45. 8.45? It's 8.41. Only 6.40 here, Matt says. You and your fake monopoly time. Us working folk work on real time, a.k.a. Eastern time. For fuck's sake. Working folk. Sunrise is in Maine first, just saying. Hey, and it sets in California last. So, somewhere in the middle. Central Standard Time. Anyway. Kevin, believe it or not, new cat graders are set for a thousand hour oil change interval with a few con conditions, but a thousand hours, man, holy fuck. Well, that's their, you know, they're getting risky. Hawaii last, Rick. Okay, sorry. Hawaii last. 942, proper time. There you go. Proper time. Junior, how's your world, buddy? How's things down in your neck of the woods? Shop still busy as hell?
So that's in Alaska last. Isn't Hawaii be uh, beyond Alaska? Or are they the same time zone? I don't even know. I have no fucking idea. <sighs> got that motherfucker. I got it. Table is down. Cry for me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're gonna have to, uh, you had to get the, the, the cutting torch out, hand cut them, some bitches. You got the skills, just do it. Get a little half pissed, you'll be fine. Fuck a thousand hour oil change. Well, that's the thing, though, is it? It's everything in the industry is pushing, all the industries are pushing for lower cost of ownership. So push your, push your maintenance intervals out, and then you need to lower your cost of ownership, right? Put these over here. Ah. Perfect. Here's how fucked up time in Sask. We are on central standard for half of the year until daylight savings, but we don't observe it due for half the year, so we are in Saskatchewan time. What? No mosquitoes here either. Fuck! Hawaii is another three hours behind West Coast. Be five behind you. Holy shit. So if Island Woodfire's in here, he's like, it's going to be like fucking middle of the afternoon out there. If Island, Island Woodfire makes it in. Thousand hours is crazy. The crane company I'm with now is are stretching services to a thousand hours as well. Fuck's sake. I don't know, a couple hundred hours on anything. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. Maintenance, or er, cost of ownership. Daylight savings time is stupid. That's right. We just need to stay on one fucking time. Who thinks I should drive 6-5 to Morky Fest? Fucking right. Get her done. Come on over. Arizona doesn't do daylight savings. How the hell does that work if you fly into Phoenix? You just fucking, it is what it is. Every 350 hours on everything. All right, perfect. I got to do a, another oil change on the Super C. Because I got a couple, a few hours on that. I want to get a good fresh one in there before I go out and uh, do some do some heavy all-day plowing. 15 minutes to go, guys. 15 minutes call. You're right, Rick. It's about lowering lifetime operating costs. Cat stands behind it as long as you use cat filter, cat oil, and... Take an oil sample every 250 to make sure things are checking out good inside. Yeah, it's, uh, they're, they can, they can advertise that lower cost of ownership. That's what it's all about. That's why they go to so many sealed bearings and all other fucking stuff, because then you don't have to buy grease. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Fuck. That's why a lot of the fucking industry wants to sealed bearings and stuff. I'd rather pump the fuck out of that thing with grease. I got tubes of this shit. Randy Olson, I appreciate you, man. I got a pile of fucking stuff around here now. Plus, I bought a whole bunch on sale last winter. Right now, brother-in-law in Arizona is the same time as me. I got gotcha. you. Where is LS boy? Funny how he has the same initials as the GM STD. I know, right? You should, uh, you should text him and ask him where the fuck he is, because... He's always bitching at me for not showing up on time. Our oil sample lab is impressive. The shit they can find out before major failure is insane. Really? Parts of Indiana does daylight savings time and some doesn't. Never know what time those crazy folks are on. Yeah, let's just go to fucking... I go 180 hours mostly on my lobster boat. It has a high tuning diesel. Perfect. The old say is that oil and grease is cheap. And that's true. That's right. Especially when you look at the cost of fucking engine replacement now. Jesus. Ford never did oil sampling? No. Fuck no. Not at the fucking Ford garage I'm at anyway. Hell no. They don't do that shit. 
They don't buy stuff without grease fittings. They, well, you have to buy some old shit then, because anything fucking 90s and newer, a lot of the stuff got away from grease fittings. Work fest is on a weekend. I work, unfortunately. Well, for fuck, call in sick. Just do a call in. Ricky didn't respond earlier when I told him I broke the Danger Ranger. He must be flying. Well, like, yeah, he couldn't have been flying that long ago. He was fucking texting me earlier. Dickhead. They don't replace parts of the grease fittings unless he's flying back. He flew two, and then maybe he's got to use dead to fly. I, I don't know. Anyone remember ads from the 80s about oil changes? Pay me now or pay me later from the guy working on the engine on a bench. Yeah, it's uh some shit's uh people don't get it. I gotta change oil on my wife's truck. That fucker's probably way overdue, but he is. All right. So he is on his way back. I got you. Say so my, he was probably texting me when he was in Arizona or something. 10 minute call. We got six in play. 10 minutes to go. You guys are going to make this pretty easy on me tonight. Six beers in 30 minutes? Hell yeah, I can do that. Oil samples stated crank was going out in the 4440. Three weeks later, it was in three pieces. Well, fuck. Hopefully it didn't take three weeks to get the bastard back to you. <laughs> but either way, if it was broken, you're fucked. Oil cheap, engines aren't. That's what I've always said. That's right. Luke installed... 1980 oil in the Ranger and my mower was and my mower was here. Cardboard court oil Montgomery Wards. Perfect. Is that it, did it blow up now or what? I tell my ticking time bomb 6 oh power stroke gets more oil changes than it knows what to do with. Oof. That fucker needs clean oil. I get his ass? Maybe I'm getting slow. Dad was rural letter carry. He changed oil religiously four years. Easy on his cars. Others never got more than three. Many new engines and two. You should see some of the shit that the fucking mail carriers around here drive. The one guy from Asco, post office, who buys a new truck every two, three years. Brand new truck for fucking running his mail route. And he's like, you know what? Everybody else gets to sit in a nice office. Why would I want to sit in a fucking shitty office? Which I get it. Some of the other carriers, Jesus, good Lord. Fuckers barely make it down the road. I don't know how the hell they deliver mail with fucking things. I wouldn't even use them as a demo car. The one lady with her Ford Taurus, it's the dirt road scrubbed the floor pans right off the bastard. All the way off the bastard, too. Hey, fucks, hurry up. Ryan's in. 52 people in. 55 thumbs up. Five, five thumbs up away from another fucking $10 into a beer. There's another one sitting right there. We're staging. My father was has a 20, 2002 GMC Sierra 20, 1500 two-wheel drive. Rolled 500,000. It has only had castro oil in it. Never had a wrench on the motor. We've had a we've had a couple of people in Asco that got a couple with uh, four hundred on them. I seen uh, seven seven something on a on a Power Stroke, and that fucker. I think he put a turbo on it, but. See, the sample data is insane how much extra damage occurred between the crank bearing. How much less would cost have been to fix when the sample data came back? That's... By the time, it's not like I, by the time you're pulling an oil sample at that point, you're pretty much fucked. Apparently, I have a problem with buying moldboard plows. I got two more. Perfect. Well, I got fucking like 
I don't know, six or eight of the bastards laying around here now. If I include, well, if I include the horse drawn ones, probably more than that. Dad got good trade in too. Sells old cars around town for years. Perfect. Oh, come on. I weld four pans back in derby cars almost every year. That's fine. You can do that. Duramax will have 500000 on it this week. Perfect. Where did Toby go? I'm sure he's over answering his own comments on his own channel or some shit. I have no idea. All right, guys. I have to do that work thing in the morning. Everyone have a good week. Kevin, I appreciate you, man. Have a good week. I got seven if my math is right. Perfect. Then you just need power plants to put in front of them all. That's all you need. Okay, we got five minute warning. Six beers, 30 minutes. We're fucking hammering down. I have zero plows, Rex says. Well, fuck. You got to start somewhere, though. There's nothing wrong with not having one. As long as you have the desire to have one. I don't know. I like that little fucking two bottom. Cody, you still in here? I was having a little problem with that bastard turning over a fur. I finally figured out the fucking knot. I needed to slide the tire out on the Super C. One was slid in and I never and I did it today. It works fucking perfect. Or one big power plant and hang them all up. Right, there you go. Really need a bigger tractor though. Yeah, Cody, I was having that fucking first, that first, uh, first plow, the first bottom wasn't turning that fucker all the way. Well, that's because the fucking plow wasn't over far enough. It was laying it too far up on top of the other one. So I kicked that wheel out. She's fucking mint now. Plus, it looked funny with wheels different spacing anyway. So. Looking for a plow someday. I have a small plow, four row, I'm going to use behind the wheeler. Four row. Five minute warning. Five minutes. We got six beers to do in 30 minutes. We're going to be all double down, too. I do two and, two and in one shot. It'll be perfect. You guys are just banking on Bob, which is probably going to be a terrible fucking... At dinner, be back later. At dinner. See, I knew he was done chasing. I told you he was chasing bad decisions. That's how he's doing. Chasing bad decisions. But let me tell you, I found a pull type chopper. Having so many pull type chopper at the salvage yard and so many new idea unit system parts. Perfect. Pull type chopper heaven. Well. You're going to need uh, to get a couple of pull-type choppers in. How the UTV do pulling a plow? Ah, oh, fuck. I was going to do that, too, and then I fucking forgot. I'll do it. I'll go out there and do it. I'll take some bitch out there and do it. That's what I should have done tonight. I need to get more than six beers in a pile there. Well, I need one more thumbs up. And that'll get you 10 bucks closer. Blairs are 50 bucks a pop. That one's open. Part way, hell, all the way, whatever. Dollar, two dollar, we can do whatever you want to do. We can, get, we can do partials. It's called supper, Luke. What the hell's happening and how the hell's everyone? Edge in the house. Ah. Uh. It's pulled Connor just fine. I have, yeah, it, we pulled Connor around just fine. That's what he was doing the whole fucking time, dragging Connor around, pulling Cody out. Cody got stuck in a couple of spots. <laughs> so bad, I went down and fucking started the the first time I took the first cut with the the plow. Drop that bastard in the ground. Cody comes in behind me, drops the plow. Stuck. Instantly. Well, fuck. Then I made a hell of a mess down on the one end of the field because I was driving through the fucking standing water at the plow seeing if I could get stuck. 
Sarah's on her way. There we go. We got her. That one's 10 bucks closer. $40 on that one. We got two minutes. Two minutes. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. $40 left on our last beard. Two minute warning. We'll have seven beers to drink in 30 minutes. That one's right there. And we, we can play again next week. I'm just going to show you what kind of pace we're looking at. <laughs> Y'all ready? We're almost ready. 61 thumbs up. Perfect. We need 40 to get that one in there. Otherwise, it's going to be a parcel. It'll be a sipper. It's 58. We got, what we got about a minute? About one minute. One minute. 60 second warning. I have a shit ton of videos to edit and upload. Internet is shit, so it's slow uploading. There you go. It happens. I started working on one last night. In the middle of the night. But I'll fucking... I'll up one, load one tomorrow during the fucking day. Maybe. If I remember. Are they cold? They look rather warm. Oh, shit. Don't do that. Oh, they're coldish. They're they're chuggable. Justin Anderson. Last call. Last call. We're almost there. Y'all ready? Oh, Tom got the other one. Woo! All right. Seven beers. 30 minutes. It is 8.59. Hold on. Seven beers. 30 minutes. Yeah. 40 way drink faster, Rick. Ready? We're almost there. There it is. Nine o'clock. Cutoff time. Let's do this. Woo! Here we go. Ding, ding, go. That's right. So I got 30 minutes to drink seven beers, right? What's the total? How many? We're at seven right now. Seven beers total. Plus the one Bob Bell... About earlier. Here we go. I'm doing two at a time, though. I'll show you what kind of pace we can look forward to in the future if we're going to play this again. If I start editing a video, I have to finish it because software issues. I hear you. See, that's where I do everything on my phone. I can just save it. If I just close the session out, it just saves it. You don't even have to go through and fucking manually save. So what happens if you don't finish them? If I don't finish them, I have to do whipped cream and flour on my face. And I don't want to do that shit. So that's why I was a 30-30 challenge. You guys had 30 minutes to buy them. I got 30 minutes to drink them. So now I can show you what kind of pace to expect for a week from now. And we'll up any a little bit. I got 12 in the freezer. I'll slam with you. Perfect. Where's Katie for this? Katie is over at the neighbors playing Scrabble or board games or I don't know. I can't save and go back. Whew. There's half. 901, get going, Lynn says. Murphy Law's in. Murphy, what's happening, buddy? Woo! At seven, I could probably pace myself. That's only what four minute beers. Basically, four minute beers. That's pretty fucking. That's a pretty slow pace, actually. So that glass found at home. Hell yeah, it doubles down. So it's, it's a court. Good thing you're close to the door tonight. Yeah, probably gonna have piss a lot. Ah! Two down. Hot four down. Not sure I can do three more at your pace. The glass helps with speed. Yes, it does. 
But you don't get so fucking bloated otherwise. Holy shit. Oh, you bloated as hell, and I'm trying to do it that speed. Hey, Rick, I have to work on 2006 Chevy Trailblazer tomorrow. How many beers will I need? A lot. Depends on what you're doing to it. Gonna need that trough one of these days. Number five, Tom says. The skiers out there yet, for fuck's sake, they're terrible here. Yeah, they're, they're bad in here. I shouldn't have had the door open earlier. I had the garage door open earlier. Where's the speed at with Bob? It's it's 30-30 challenge. So I'm showing you if you guys want to be able to push the limits on what I can drink in 30 minutes. You want to see whipped cream pie face, you'd have to fucking push her a little bit. Whew. So I have to average four minute beers. We're three minutes in, two beers gone already. So that's what would have to happen. You gotta, you gotta think about it. Great. Uh, 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 uh. Mo, you'll need a lot of them. Put a transmission in one sometime. Power steering lines. Ah, power steering lines aren't too bad. Hey, I'm assuming you're laying on the ground. If you got a hoist to work on, bonus, but... Transmission, yeah. Front differential, that's a real fucking dick licker on those things. Yeah, it's on the ground. You got a good set of ramps? Probably going to need a good set of ramps. Ugh. All right, so a good set of ramps, you probably won't be so bad. Take your time, be patient. Front dip on one of the GM's finest designs, yeah. Got him. Score! The half a bottle of Jack Daniels. Are you feeling better? <clears throat> If you're feeling better, fucking rock it. Pound about a half a bottle of night pillow, put your ass to sleep. Away you go. That's what I do. Did I get the flu or something? Drink that. Technically, the first two were in you by a three minute mark. So, you ought to do our math for next week based on that. You'll just have to pour faster if you're up the ante next week. When are we going to do a live stream together? Well, where are you, you, you come on up fucking anytime. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I got to come down that way one of these days. You ain't that far from me, I don't think. You half a day's drive? 12 hours? 14 hours? No, probably about 12 hours, right? How far are you from Chicago? I know how long it takes me to get to Chicago. Oh. Uh. Of course, I'd have to go through Chicago, but whatever. A little bit better. Trail values would need a toilet seat for the sunroof. Should have a tally sheet for mosquito kills. I know, right? I did the trans on an 05 laying on the driveway. Well, I kind of did it twice. I bought a parts rig, so I pulled that one out first. Fuck. Yeah, they're... Uh, I don't know if I got that one or not. Rex got his skater beater working. And I think that's right. Skater beaters. Whew. Ah! We're getting a little, uh... The guts get low, folks. Can't wait to do a live stream with Rick. Five hours from Chicago, so you're about... Yeah, you're probably 14 hours from 
probably about 14 hours apart because I got to stop and peel up. Got bladder problems. Mostly because I drink too much. Then you take blood pressure medication that makes it pee a lot. That's good. Good in you. Life lessons is in. Lisa, what's going on tonight? SOT, get waiting, Rick. I make it down there one of these days. <laughs> Dalton or er, Junior says Dalton, that'd be a fun time for sure. I had a smoker takeout cup tray going in my steel trailer, and someone thought it was on fire. Well, fuck. Tom says his Michigan home is four hours from Chicago. How's the new shop chair working out? Fucking love it, man. I'll tell you what, working on cars, especially the scissor lift, right? Because it's got all the fucking arms. So you just sit underneath here, put your feet up on the arm. Work right here. You adjust the hoist wherever the fuck you need it. Yeah. I just kicking back. I did the, the training on the... Uh, the guys are changing the starter. They, uh, they decided they didn't want to bring it down, huh? Cheers, beers, and happy pissing. Hey, as long as they, as long as the uh, the fucking uh, prostate holds, I'll, I'll be able to piss. Otherwise, no. Told them I'm keeping the tweeters away. Yeah. I hope the hell that told me could bring it down here, we fix it. Shit, we could done it on a live stream. Skeeters out here bad. I made a horrible judgment call having the carpal tunnel surgery in both hands. Uh, I can't slap or swat to kill us buzzing bastards. I could see how that would be a problem. They needed to go to the woods tomorrow. Well, I, I know, but I told, I told them they could bring it down here and fix it today. Shit. You mean bladder? No, I was talking about the prostate restricting the flow. Ah. Who would drink more? Wait a Rick. Patch of heaven. Mark's in. I'm not putting on the best pace, I gotta say. Bob Bates is in. Holy shit, Bob's here. All right, I gotta take a leak first. This is gonna get bad. Chad, you need an electric fly swatter. Zap the shit out of him. Bye, Barry. I got beers. I hope you're working out. You're okay with doubling down. We're going to be fucking... Oh, God, we're going to have a rough day. We're not going to have a rough day as much as we're going to have a rough day tomorrow. I got to take a leak, though. I'll be right back. I don't want to lay a jar off too far to fucking... Why can't the chickens go back in? I better go see if the chicken coop is closed up or not. Wind must have blown the damn door open or her door shut or something. It's almost dark and the fucking chickens won't go back in. I'm gonna check on the chicken coop over here back. Fight the way. 
Plus, daughter's got a fucking bloody nose now, so that's gonna be thing. It's fun. We got our challenges. Holy shit, Bob. Hold on, man. Where are we at? 13 minutes, three beers. Three ish beers. Coming next week, the Rick Bork Flower Hour. Fuck's sake. Rick is scared. That is by 10 by 9.30 Monopoly time now. Bob, how are you this evening? Feeling great, Chad. Thank you. Yeah, I tried to blow my fucking nose because I've been sucking snot for a fucking hour and then that didn't work, so. 45 minutes west of Louisville for me. Holy shit, Bob. You're fucking... You're tearing me up there, brother. Holy shit, Flakes. Five behind. I'm always five behind. Okay, hang on. I'm going to try to stop bleeding for a second. Real quick. Tommy wants to know if Bob's all healed up now. They make you do physical therapy and shit, or did they, uh, you just let it, let it rip tater chip, or what did they? That's none of my fucking business, but I'm just glad you're feeling better, man. Was Ricky running? No, I didn't run. I tried to blow my nose because I was trying to fucking get rid of this. Yes, all good. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm done bleeding. Wade, he drinks hard liquor like Rick drinks beer. Rick is the bestest. I appreciate you. According to Luke, Rick is 80 beers behind. You know, according to Luke, there's a lot of things that are fucked up. And Luke, he's, he's not even here. He, he can't be an expert on this shit when he doesn't even show up. Fuck. He tries to be all accountable for stuff and he doesn't even watch half of it. I'm off the pace on the beers. I got to step her up. Uh, you can just toss the towel in now. Whipped cream your face. No, I'm not whipped cream in my face. I'll puke first. Fuck it. Oh, God. Maybe that would be the better solution. Oh, I thought it was good. I thought I thought it was going to be a lot easier than this. I have to say. Of course, I don't think the warm beers are helped. The wor beers warmed up a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck! I got I got a, I got a good cramp going on. So that was that, right? No, no. Fuck. <laughs> Chicago PD, no, be back. PD, uh, I'm leaving at 10 o'clock. He is drinking all the beers tonight. Katie is going to kick you your out of bed because of the beer farts later. Ten to go. Yeah, some fucking thing, right? Holy living fucking hell. Chug along, Rick. Makes your belly day a hidey ho. Cheers, buddy. Coppice is in. Woo! <gasps> Bob haven't watched that, but I always watch Hill Street Blues. Okay. Some of y'all need to learn how to count. <laughs> and and Nathan counts in the metric system. 1017 here. It's 917 here. Okay. You're not leaving at 10. Stop the bullshit. I'm leaving at 10 o'clock. I swear to God, I'm going to leave at 10 o'clock. For one fucking time, I'm going to leave at 10 o'clock. I swear to God. 
I'm going to be done drinking by fucking 930, I can tell you that. Shit. Might have to do some sobering up before we go out and get the hell out of here. I was never good at math. Scotty's in. Hello, Rick. Hello, everyone. Where the fuck is that one going? Maybe it's time to count the cans. They're over there. Right there. See them? And there's this one. That one. So there you go. Here's your cans, bud. Try to get this one in there. Then I know I have to drink this in nine, 11 minutes ish, 12 minutes. Don't all fit. Just got more rain. Fuck sake. The way you're going with your fucking yapping versus drinking, you'll be, you'll finish by 5 a.m. Probably. Unless Katie shows up at 9.50 and says stay, she can stay. I will go in the house. I could just leave her ass out here to live stream and be fine. Rick only drank three uh, up chuck the first ones. Yeah, I wish. Technically, only had to do seven in the 30 minutes because that's all that was bought in the 30-minute window for buying. That's fine. We'll make her. We got 10 minutes. 11 minutes. Maybe y'all ain't that far off the pace for next week. I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm struggling as of late. Shit. Woo! We need a Katie live stream. Hell yeah, you do. All by herself. She could do it. She'd be fine. Whew. Stretch the gut. Ten minutes. Oh, God. Bob! Bob! No, stop it. I'm dying. Why the fuck is it so painful? Oh, fuck. Ah, it's killing my gut. Oh, fuck. I'm just saying y'all men are counting the wrong based on rules that you laid out. Hey. Bob Bates is still here. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Props for drinking them warm beers. Holy God. I got the sweats going on. You're not burping. I can't burp. It's just stuck. Think about burp. It's probably all coming out. Trying to help you out, brother. I know. It's stuck. Ugh. It's fucking stuck. Take the fresh batch of beer tonight. Nothing fancy, but it tastes good, warm and flat, so the cold and the carbonation should prove it a lot. 71st finger got sunburned today. Hot damn. Stuffy cooking live. Might be staring at a fucking uh, pie face in a second. Oh, good lord. I just can't burp. I can't. It won't fucking come out. I don't know why. Usually I'm fucking... It won't, it won't come out. Holy shit. I fucking over so underestimated myself. That bubble in the gut is painful as hell. I've been there too often. Usually I don't get it, but tonight, fuck me, man. I just need... Give me three minutes and then maybe it kicks it and maybe it doesn't. I fucking... I can... I can power that son of a bitch down. I know I can Rick looks like he's uh, fixing to call some dinosaurs. I I don't even know if that'll help. I just need to get that fucking air out of my gut. It's going to be bad. Steven Smith's in. What's yeah. happening tonight, buddy?
Still have six minutes. I know it. Uh -oh. <sighs> Gut gas is horrible pain. I'm running. It's fucking. It's it's turning. But run around the shop three times. Nothing happening tonight. I'm sick of this day heading in for the night. Steven, I appreciate you, buddy. Could try jumping around, might shake it around and get the gas up. Yeah, and the problem is I'm fat and I probably puke. Jump Jack Flash, it's a gas, gas, gas. Oh, we're just fucking let her sit for a minute. We might be able to, we might be able to pull her out in the last couple. Martin, you okay, bud? That was, that was Dave asking. Martin's always okay. I got fucking, uh, I got fucking sweats going on and everything. I don't know what the fucking deal is. Seven beers should have been a coast for me, especially since I wasn't even drinking before that. Shit. I'm getting like, I'm fucking getting lightweight around here or something. We gotta do the switch. We gotta have to do the switch. All right. We're going to do this with like four minutes to go. I swear to God, we're going to fucking pound her away. Ah! Puke and rally. That will be the popular saying at Borkfest. That, that, I, I've done it before. I can puke and rally. We're going to fucking, Rick needs a shot. Whew. No shots here. I got I to gotta stay away from the hard liquor on the meds that I'm on for now. So we're going to fucking, we're going to go. I'll have to talk to you after live away from all these people had a couple of questions for you. All right, throw her out there. Send me a on the over there. On the on the telly. Or on the It's your liver! It's my liver trying to give up. Says fuck you. Nearly finished my fencing project before it got expanded. Damn. Get to the trash. Go to the trash. Ah. Five minutes, four minutes, four fifty. Seriously. Bryce, it's like whatever fence a guy builds is never enough. Stephen Smith says, hi, Raquel. Okay, four minutes. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I learned as a kid, fences are just questions. I question the cattle. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't miss it by this much. I can't do it. Oh, fuck. Don't barf on the chickens. Yeah, no shit. Put me in the floor drain. I got to do it. Duke, you're out. I'll be right back.
That's what I'm saying. Holy oh, shit! Ah, oh, God. Never had to do this before. Holy shit. Can we sleep upstairs tonight? That man's may be what's kicking your ass tonight. Okay. We'll have our limits. I don't know how you can do it. Fuck! Okay, where are we at? 928. 929, I'm doing this one. I probably have to go again, but... Still on meds for the neck. We heard all of that. Yeah, I heard you. I fucking figured, because I only made it out the fucking door, and then the dog was out there doing it, too, so... I don't know what the hell her problem is, but... Oh, yeah, I needed that one. Woo! Here we go. Come on. Left your a little in your beard there. I think that's foam from the beard, but yeah. All right, we got one minute. I did it. You know how that about X still, or is that going to cut your tolerance in half? <clears throat> well, I just finished them, so yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm fucking exhausted, man. Woo! Evan says just in. Holy hell, I've never had a drinking challenge that was so hard in my life. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 And blood pressure. I didn't take him to fuck it. Can't wait to have a beer with you. Fuck your trooper. Woo! I mean, I tell you what. I gotta grab a, I need a fucking, uh, a little, uh, a little towel left here. I gotta clean up. Holy hell. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck. Whoa, oh, we're gonna coast on that. Holy shit. Woo, boys. I'm gonna tell you what. Oh. Had to rewind to get, uh, You know what I mean? The situation? Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, I tell you. I had some fucking. Woo! We're sweating here for a minute. I just didn't want to fuck up my beard. Ah. Oh. I got her. Am I bleeding again? I think I'm bleeding again. Maybe not. Probably from before. Okay. Holy shit. Whew. Yeah, that probably maybe the meds are fucking with my, uh, because usually for me that would have been a fucking, uh, uh, a walk in a park, but yeah. Oh. Whew. Ah. I think uh, I need I need a Mountain Dew. I can tell you that. I need I need a sipper of Mountain Dew because holy fuck! Uh. That one goes for the accountability stack. Effing gnats have hatched. Oh, fuck, I suppose. We don't have them up here too bad, usually. Uh, <clears throat> but they're like possums for you guys. We don't have them. You guys do, so. <sighs> yeah. I got, we're going to have to call her out. Yeah. I feel like I got to keep this beard for all the folk that can't, so. 
Oh, oh God! That's what I need. Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt good. Tommy says, oh my God, I hate the Nets. See, I I don't know if we're just... Like you go, we don't get them here that bad. I don't know if we don't have... Well, I know we have the sand, but fuck. What the fuck is a gnat? It's like a little fucking tiny biting fly. It's, I don't know, half the size of a mosquito. And they bite. So it's real fun. Raquel says, and spiders. Well, we probably don't get spiders like y'all get in the summertime. Of course, you got frost now, so maybe we don't. Y'all don't have spiders like we have. You go to southern Minnesota, you get motherfucking spiders. Like, we don't get spiders like southern Minnesota has. Fuck that noise. Like, we might get a big barn spider that's like, you know, like that. Big old fat bastard. But not like, uh, they get some weird shit down there. Sand flies. They will burrow into you. Yeah, they will. Keep the beard tail bork fest. Huh? I don't know if it's going away at bork fest either. I think this son of a bitch is going to have to, it's going to, it's going to have to fucking, it's going to have to raise some real money for this motherfucker to go. Because I'll tell you what, there is nothing more satisfying than when I'm driving down the road in my truck. Not that I go anywhere, but even in the mornings, I get up and comb my beard. And I have no idea why it's so fucking appeasing to me. Because I don't have any hair on my head to comb. I mean, I'm fucking bald. Look at it. I'm bald. But I like combing my beard. I could give two fucks less about my fucking... My, the hair on my head. Fucking throw a hat on. It doesn't matter. But I like combing my beard. What about the noceums? They bite too. Well, Lee, on a, on a year like this, when it's wet, we don't get them. I don't, I don't know why, but wash nest in my shop. I noticed two, three of them going in before I f- left for work. Haven't been in the shop because of work a lot, for fuck's sake. Well, fuck. We call them net bastards, pragas, or whimperils, real suck. So, yeah, the noceums go through fucking screens. They will go through screens. We had uh, my old place years ago. Woke up one morning. I'm, I'm a feller that likes to, when it's cool at night, I like to sleep in the, uh, with the window open, fan in the window, blow all that cool air in there, and then shut everything down in the, in the morning and black it out. It helps to, so you don't have to run the air conditioner a lot. Woke up in the morning and the whole fucking ceiling was black with those bastards. Oh, fuck. Because they all came in and it was cool. So they went to the ceiling where there was heat. So you had to vacuum the motherfuckers off the ceiling. It was terrible. We got no CMs, Ra- Raquel says. Yeah, it was, I, that was the only time I've seen them that bad. But... I have a tart for a inside temp wall. I'm going to have to take that down and run. 5 a.m. I hear you. Fuck it. Just. Air compressor. I got a slow leak somewhere, but I haven't been able to figure out where. Strong work, Rick. Good night, all. K Heidi, I appreciate you. I do what I can. I was a struggle for me. Seven beers in 30 minutes should not have been a struggle. Should not have been a struggle, but... Woo! I tell you what. There was some fucking serious rally I had to go on there. <sighs> I've never had a puking rally on this thing, either. It's first time I ever had to puke and rally, so. Dog got a snack. What was the meds? I'm sure. I'm sure the meds aren't fucking helping anything. 
That compressor scared the shit out of Connor last Saturday. Yeah, he about jumped out of his fucking chair. It's funny because you can tell the guys that have worked in a shop with a compressor because it doesn't even fucking... Me, you, and Toby didn't even fucking flinch. And Ch Connor about fucking fell out of his chair when he fucking flinched on that. I think it's one of these fucking lines that... Yeah, it probably seeps a little bit, but whatever. If I don't do anything in the shop, it runs twice a day. It'll cycle, so... Whatever. Saber tooth deer flies. So, what is the difference between a saber tooth deer fly and a deer fly like we have? Because the de deer flies that we have will bite the living fuck out of you, but they're usually later in the summer when you get into that fucking hay season, son of a bitch. And as bad as we get the bugs here, you go to Toby's place and they are fucking 10 times worse up there. Why? I have no fucking idea. We live right next to 2,000 plus acres of swamp. You go up there and there's sand next to a little swamp. I don't know if that's the magic fucking recipe, but holy living fuck. There are times where you cannot see at night because of the bugs in front of the fucking headlights. It's just a cloud of fucking bugs. Deer flies always go after me. Five others around. Nothing. Me, nothing. Yeah. They'll burrow into dogs fur too. Deer flies and horse flies can fuck right off. We got horse flies here. They're a bitch when they come. I would guess the saber tooth deer flies can steal Matthew's sunglasses faster than a regular fly. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny as hell. You're going to love that big fucking bug zapper I'll bring you. Lee, I appreciate the hell out of you, man. Hell yeah, I'll fucking, I will nuke, I will nuke bugs all day long. Fuck them. Fuck them. Cows would probably like it too. Keep them away from them. Oh my god, that winner not. Oh. My 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 gut's a little bigger too. It's all distended from all that beer. I probably only puked up like half a beer out there, but it felt so good. The air that came with it was great. Oh, look it up. Uh, 240 you really try it. Fry the bastard. I got 240 really fry the bastards. Just found out I won't have glasses anymore come Bork Fest. Oh shit, you getting uh Yo, LASIK or well, well, fixer up or there going on? Shit, all the videos I've watched are you gonna look funny without glasses. Yeah, I ain't gonna you ain't gonna have no glasses and you ain't gonna have no fucking beard. Shit. I might have to stop watching your videos. That way it's just gonna be a surprise when you show up. You're like, who the fuck is oh. Katie wants to get that LASIK or if, it, if it'll work. Rick Brandt, I'm done for the night. Too many pounds of metal removed. Bye. Rick, I appreciate you, buddy. He's working hard for me. I'll tell you what. I don't know how the hell I'm ever going to pay him back, but he's making me all new fucking track rollers for the excavator. All of them. I mean, dude is working fucking many, many, many hours every day. I don't uh, Turn my 1500 watt zapper into a super zapper if my flies take my shit. Bud's in the house. Bud, what's happening? You get the starter and get her all fixed up for tomorrow or no? Get that laser zapper done yet? Beard will be back by then. This shave was for one day of fucking work. I, dude, I, you know, I, starter's done. Perfect. Well, that wasn't so bad. How many bolts did you break? Is that bug zapper big enough for a porch pirate or a car thief? No, that would be hilarious. Someone breaking into your car gets zapped. Hey, they, they got plenty of that taser shit. 
Rollers, axles, and rock guards. Hell yeah. He making me. Oh, I, they're all down at his place. All the old ones are down there too. <laughs> so the old rollers, had you had the axle, then you had the bearing, and then you had the roller. Well, that bearing has that little fucking seal on the side of it. Fucking. First time he did it, fucking turn and gravel. It fucking wiped the bearing out of the or the seal out of the side of that bearing. And then, that one's fucking junk. Arr. So he's building me custom rollers with rock guards on them. Try to keep the shit out of there. And this dude's fucking. He makes some amazing shit. So. I mean, I'm just going to have to fucking wear this guy at the butcher and grow shit in the garden, feed him for the rest of fucking forever. It'll be good. Figure out something. I don't, if you ain't work on your car or something, fuck, I can fix you up, butter. I was, shit. You ever seen, uh, what is that? What's that when they no broken but fight the top one? What a what a fucker! Hey, <clears throat> on a V10, yeah, that that top bolt's a bitch. I probably had this the. Uh, do you use it? You have a swivel socket to go on there or no? Well, that was thirteen or ten millimeter. Some of them were 10, some of them were 13. Depends on the year, make, model. Fried my starter in the home 250. She was no power, but wires was new solenoid, even though the old one was good. New battery, but starter has no power into it. Cleaned inside the starter. Well, fuck. Sometimes you can do the, on the V10, I can't remember. I know on the 5.4, you can, the old 5.4 two valves, you could do the top starter bolt from the, from the fender. You know that way? But I don't, I don't think you can do that, some bitch from, uh, I, I don't know if you can do it on the, on the V10. Well, good buddy, I've got to go. Hope the rest of the week goes good. Nathan, I appreciate you, man. Look forward to seeing you soon. Drinking some beers. Whew. Won't be on the meds. Hopefully I'll be in better shape. I'm not that I'm not in bad shape, but whatever. Fuck. Tonight was... Whew. You think eight beers would have went to bed in that bit of, bit, big of a fucking night for me, but man. We fucking... Uh, that was a... That was a hard fucking... That was a hard fought battle. I gotta say. It wasn't like anything like making fucking suspense out of it. It was their shit. Wheeler's been in the water also a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised I fried the starter. Well, fuck. Cody says, I'll catch you on the next one. Cody, I appreciate you. 41 in, 72 thumbs up. Rick, do you feel better now? I don't feel too bad now. I still got a little bit of a tight spot, but. 10 swivel didn't work under and nor and over the tire. Yeah, I don't think it will on a V10 because the manifold's fucking different. On the 542 valve, it will, but I think on the V10, the fucking manifold's deeper. It sticks out further from the head and doesn't fit. So you got to have that right combination, the right length extension with the right length socket. So the thought your your rational swing behind the back of the starter and in front of the cross member. I know exactly how this works, bud. I fucking I done told you I could fuck. I told Russell you could bring it up here. We fix it. We can fix that son of a bitch tonight. Hell you can stream. You could have been here right now drinking beers. Torturing my ass. I'm gonna put this stuff back away. Alright, I'll put it back in. Put it back in here. There are mosquitoes in the fucking refrigerator from when I got the beer. That's terrible. 
So bad. Oh, better get going. Dave's out. 33 in, they're dropping like flies. That's all right. I'm going to get the hell out of here at 10 o'clock anyway. 10 minutes from now. Whoo, boys. None told, Bob. I get up and move around. That stirs it up, makes it worse. Shit. Just got to sit here the rest of the night. Yeah, if you guys you guys need something in a pinch, man. I know I'm a little bit of ways away, but if you need something and y'all can't don't think you're gonna make her, just let me know. That's all you gotta do. We can figure something out. Scraping out the hot water here while hanging. Scrapping out. Or scraping out. <clears throat> Scrap. Perfect. Don't worry, they're constantly breaking stuff, so they will be down. <laughs> Lisa has full confidence in your ability to wreck shit. Tommy says he's on beer number seven. I did that 20 minutes ago. Shit. Just stopping by to say hi. Jordan's in. Jordan, didn't do your birthday today? I think there's a notification that says your birthday today. I don't do the Facebook shit. I know, but I got to drive tomorrow and we would... Have been drunk and had a lot of fun. Well, that's true. Jordan, if it's your birthday, happy birthday, bud. I don't do the fucking Facebook birthday fucking thing because fuck it. It's just dumb. I'll do it out here. Normally, I drink a beer for you, but I'm fucking in agony right now. So I'm getting better, but damn. Yep, turn 29, but I'm getting to the point I need to think about it. Thanks. I'm no Rick, but I do like beer. Hell yeah. I, I like my beer, but fuck tonight. All right, everyone. Rex Kramer's out. I'm out for the night. Have a good one. Appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Jordan, enjoy your 20. You got one year left of it. I didn't realize you were that fucking young. Fuck, I met you a couple of times. No offense, but you look older than that. Anyway. um, You're fucking near 30. <coughs> Don't worry, I'll be 40 in a couple of months. It's fine. 29, last break for insurance age. Perfect. I don't think 29, you'd have to go back to work. I... Don't want to work now in this day and age. Too many stupid people. Yeah, fuck. Twenty nine, be Ah, uh... oh, damn. That was before I had a hernia. That that was a lot. Twenty nine was a lot of broken bones and a lot of stitches ago. I have to say. Alex says it'll be 30 this month. Oh, hell, shit, Alex is 39. Or 29. I didn't know. Shit, all you young folk in here. Damn. I, would, I wouldn't go back. Because I'm really happy with where I'm at in life right now. Like, really happy with where I'm at in life right now. But I, uh... There are some physical injuries that I could, I could probably do without. Those ones fucking haunt me, you know. Car accident or two, none of which I was fucking driving. How's the dumpster fire going tonight, Rick? Shane Holst is in the house. But if you have to work ethic, just think of the jobs available. That's true. 
if they if you got if you can work my daughter's six well almost 17 but she's 16 works full-time graduated from high school and the opportunities are fucking abundant with her fucking the the brains that she has and the work ethic that she has shit i wish i was fucking there at her age i'd have probably actually been something i was 29 half a lifetime ago it was a great time. Now my second daughter is 29. I hear you. It's shit. I mean, Shane, I take it you made it home with no flat tires. No flat tires. All went smooth. Perfect. No flat tires is always good. Shane, how's the field work coming along? You were something, Rick. Yeah, I'm something. I'm 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 broken something. Shit. Really it seemed like after fucking I hit the 30 mark, I brought I wrecked a lot of me. Like a lot of me. In a really short short amount of time, too. I I got fucking I got I got fucked up a lot. Between 29 and 39, I got fucking wrecked. Slow hauling shit and cutting hay. Perfect. As long as you're cutting hay. Cody Spears. And hey, Rick, was that Ed's son's truck I seen in the background in your equipment trailer on the last video? Yep. It was in the shop today. Getting some work done. And then, uh... When's Abby... Back in next week, get finished up. So, video's coming soon. If 40, everything went to shit. Eh. Well, I hope it doesn't go to shit at 40, because I'm pretty fucking good at now. But it took me about 10 years of fucking wrecking my own self to get it right. Tom, did you find the eggs and flour? Yeah, thanks. I have some hydraulic hoses I have to bring down to that. We're in the shed probably did that did sometime tomorrow. Young people party like a rock star because at 49, time for the nursing home. Well, hey, it, it, at 49, you ain't going to the fucking nursing home. You got a few years yet. Shit. Just make her to 55. Fuck, at this point, if my wife wasn't here to cook for me, I'd probably go to the nursing home now, but... Oh, that work ethic had wrecked their bodies from a young age. They maxed out at 44, been falling apart ever since. At least I don't have much hair to lose anymore, right? I mean, when it starts falling out of my face, then I'm going to have a problem. Because I'm pretty sure all it's done is migrate south. That's pretty much all that's happened for this feller. It's either gone the, down the fucking front of my face or the fucking middle of my back, but... Because she's pretty fucking thin up there. <laughs> Whatever. At 40, you realize you have some of the... You will have to have their hernia repaired again. Your body grows weird things. That need to be removed and every old injury comes back to haunt you. Well, I have plenty of old injuries that come back to haunt me. Fortunately, the hernia repair has been amazing. I mean, that's been one of the least fucking problematic things that I've had. Knock on, knock on wood. Bing, bing, bing. But yeah, there, I had a hell of a hernia and they did a great job fixing it. Everything else, broken bones and that kind of yeah, those suck. When the hair only grows in the ears and nose, it's real gain, yeah. 40 isn't bad yet, just don't have the energy I used to. Yeah, well, let's not even talk about the sex injuries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just don't even try. Shit. Fuck. I, I, I ain't even going to try for a sex injury. The hell with that noise. 
That is trying way too fucking hard for this feller. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't even need to. Uh uh-uh. uh. Chicks are over there fucking fighting for mosquitoes. You can hear them running over each other. One mosquito gets in there by that heat lamp because trying to get warm. And uh, bent carrot ads. We only got a couple minutes, folks. I get the hell out of here. Realize Bob's going to show back up. Bob shows back up. I'm going to be ruined. I can't do Bob showing back up. I'll give you like fucking five minutes. Because I ain't drinking no more tonight. I'll fucking be ruined. I done puke and rally once. And I ain't going to puke and rally again. Fuck that noise. Might puke, but I ain't going to rally. That was a pretty quick turnaround, too, because I only had like two minutes to fuck puke and rally. I got to say, uh-huh. I'm not trying to flex, but I feel has got a puke and rally. You better fucking do it quick, right? <sighs> but I'm sleeping. I hope so. He better be sleeping. Fuck, at this point, I'm on. I'm, oh, I'm right. I fucking, I fucking, I work for that one. So, question in the live stream is that backwards for y'all or is it just backwards for me? Well, looking at it, I don't know. Because if I, I figured out that I could flip my videos so the things are right, but it, do they end up right when I publish it? I have no fucking idea. Matthew Shelley's out. Matthew, get the hell out of here. We'll see you in a few weeks. <clears throat> Borkfest is not that far away, not backwards. You're Superman, Rick. No. How many did Bob buy you tonight? Well, I had to do seven and 35, 30 minutes, which didn't seem like a lot until it was a lot. Turns out the uh, fucking meds that fucking doctor put me on for my fucking little, on my neck thing. (sighs) Side effects really came. It reads correct. See, for me, it reads backwards. All right, perfect. Fly Navy P3's in, but he retracted his message. For fuck's sake. You couldn't spell that right the first time? Hello, L7. I know, right? But it was, uh, yeah, it was. My wife must be home. Luke, what's happening tonight? Are you back home now or what? what what's going on? Do you make her make her back to to, to home base or what the fuck happened now? Luke's here, I'll hang on for fucking five minutes. I'll give you five fucking minutes. Eight weeks till work fest. Nothing anybody's keeping track, right? I'm in Arizona. All right, I got you. Fly back tomorrow or are you gonna hang out for a couple of days or what? Damn. I'm probably got big on seven beers in fucking 30 minutes. Damn. Seventh down. Damn, putting on a good pace. Did you do your last flight today? Probably, what do you say, last flight in the P3? I got family in Arizona, Luke. Just got back from dinner, drinks, celebrating a career flying P3s. So now you're on to the P8, right? I kind of looked at the difference between a P3 and a P8. I think I want to stay with the P3. The only, the only difference between the P3 and the P8 is they got better access to parts. I mean, they're, they're com- the part commonality is far better, but other than them, they're kind of dumb. They're depressed with the living hell out of me. It's... P8s are fancy and new, but not the same. Yeah, they're all fancy and new, but it's, you know, sometimes there's some nostalgia and things, you know? And for their era, the P3 was pretty fucking, 
pretty much top of the line for fucking decades. And even the P8, yeah, you really, is it that competitive? I don't know. Other than parts availability, because there's commonality from across the world. Four engines are better than two. That's right. Uh. Uh. Plane I flew to his grave today as 42 year olds took me to war and back. And I put it to bed today as a perfect, capable aircraft. Sad. The only fortunate thing is, 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 you know, hopefully it just gets put in storage. Where you're, because isn't that what happens with most of them? They get, they get put in storage, long-term storage. So... You know, at least it's not getting ground up into fucking pop cans. That, that would be like the the best. If we ever go back to war, I'll sign up to fly it again. I hear ya. Alex says more engines are always better. Hell yeah. It will go into long term storage. That is a cool fucking place, I have to say. It's it's awesome that we can we actually have that capability to do that. You know, where there's a place that they can put those things in basically time capsule them. So you know, it doesn't necessarily have to go away. So Luke says, Vidji coming soon. Perfect. Kick ass. I'm I'm glad you got some Vidji, man. Even for your own memories, even if it's not for us, it's pretty damn cool. Rick's uh, preview, but I have about 60 minutes of video all told. Hell yeah. Kick ass. Trisha Harris is in. Trisha, what's going on tonight? That'd be super cool, man. Just, uh, even if you're, like I said, even if you're saving it as your own time capsule for fucking ever, why not? Donald Mason's in. 32 in, 76 thumbs up. Hell yeah. It's been a rough night on the old, the old fucking uh, gut tonight, I gotta say. The antibiotics or whatever, fucking, I'm not making excuses, but shit. I need to get on some editing to make it understandable, but I'll be making a video perfect. That'll be cool, man. I look forward to it. Yesterday's video was pretty kick-ass. I like the... I'm not a flying guy, but I was fucking... The best weather you could have. So they did get to sign the plane and take some pictures and videos. Perfect. Never enough footage of the classic and workhorse planes. That's right. Now I know how it. Uh, You put a whole career into working on something and then shit. Then you got to change it. I, I hear you. What's your shirt, shirt say, Rick? Don't worry. I've had both my shots and my booster. Courtesy of the Craig family out of Saskatchewan. They were gracious enough to send that down from... Uh, from Canada, so I appreciate y'all. A lot of good people. I can tell you what, YouTube's fucking crazy because the uh, the amount of good people, <laughs> fucking amazing to me. You guys have, uh, every one of you guys has been fucking amazing to me, so. 
I appreciate that. Okay, you're in overtime. I'm sorry. I'm keeping you. No worries, bud. But I'm going to get the hell out of here for Bob shows back up. I'm not, well, I love Bob. Bob's my brother, but I can't drink no more beers tonight. I'll fucking... I will have a hell of a wreck tomorrow, so... It just won't work. You guys have a great night. Luke, party hardy. Can't believe they're retired in the P3. Keep an eye on the community page, my Instagram and YouTube for videos and pictures. Perfect. Y'all have a good night. I will see you all uh, tomorrow on a premiere. It's already in the pipe, so see ya. Where is it? It's over here. End.